Hey YouTube, it's me, your girl Shaniqua, and I'm coming to you today with a, a wash and style video. Someone requested for me to show them how do I wash and style my hair, when uh, my sew-ins when I have it in. So this is the final look that, um, that you're looking at here. I have completely flat ironed it, blow dried it, and everything. So if you want to see how I accomplish this final look for today, stay tuned. All right, YouTube, so I am about to wash my hair. Now, to wash my hair, all I use is normal Pantene Pro-V uh, leave-in and conditioner, the relaxed and natural. I don't use anything too, uh, ooh, it's tripping. I don't use anything too uh, fancy to wash my hair because it's just weave, so what's the purpose of using anything super fancy for that? Um, and then for my own hair, because I will be washing the very top of my hair, um, which is actually my hair, I'll be using um, the leave-in. After I use those two, I'll be using Dr. Miracle's leave-in conditioner because it is good to always put leave-in conditioner in your own hair. You know, you always want to uh, condition your hair, especially for because it is worked a lot. You know, your own hair is flat ironed a lot and stuff like that. And, you can't even see my scalp. Is that's how much new growth is in that thing? It's it don't even wanna. Yeah. Okay. So what I normally do is I just take a plastic cap, um, because I don't really like to wet my whole head because it just takes so long to dry and it just it just gets real rumple underneath. So I don't really like to wash my whole. I know this looks real silly, but um, I normally just put the the cap the plastic cap over my head like this and I wash my ends wash my ends wash my ends all my ends and stuff like that and that normally does a pretty good job and then once I'm done with that I'll just pick up the top piece that is my hair here and I'll just wash just you know just pick it up and wash the top piece of my hair so my hair my head does get wet but it doesn't get fully soaking wet and the times I've ever done that before it just it's just gets real unmanageable and just real icky underneath and stuff like that so I just choose to do it this way because it's, it's just so much more easier so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair up and I'll be right back hey YouTube so I just got through finished washing my hair and as you can see majority of it is pretty drenched um, but like right around here is not wet but I did get the top and I put some leave-in conditioner in there. So now, so now I'm going to let it completely air dry. And then um, after I let it completely air dry, I'll come back to you. And then the next step after air drying is flat ironing. So stay tuned. Right, tube. So it's practically dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little cheese, silk infusion. And I am going to just a little dime size. Oh, well, I've already taken a little dime size and I just put it all over my entire head. And then I'm going to go ahead and blow dry straight. So that helps it to actually blow dry pretty straight. You can get it pretty much straight. And we know we need help with this top piece. So I have just recently finished blow drying my hair and I just use a normal, regular blow dryer. Nothing spectacular. I've been having this blow dryer for years. So, and I just take it and I just blow, 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 drop, blow, drop, blow, drop, blow, blow. So this is pretty much it. Also, I forgot to mention that I do put olive oil in my hair and I put it in my own hair because I don't want it in the weave because it'll get all greasy. But I also use um, olive, oil, olive oil for um, heat protectant and it's just a good scalp treatment and, and it um, helps stop from hair breakage and stuff like that. And you know, because of when you leave your hair out that particular piece is overused and overworked so i do put a little olive oil i got this from the beauty supply for about 3.99 um and that's to help um, fight the hair breakage so now that i'm pretty much done with that i am going to basically part it in sections and flat iron it and for my flat iron i use a normal everyday flat iron it's nothing spectacular as a matter of fact it's a fee i guess if you want to say cheese great cousin or brother or uncle I got it from um, Marshall's and it was like 30 bucks for it and um, it just turns on and off it doesn't have any temperature gauge but it does have the tertuline or titanium plates on it so um, that helps to heat it up and get it you know really really straight it doesn't have ceramic plates and the ceramic plates tend to get really dirty real quick and it's real uh, gritty but with this one it's pretty smooth it doesn't snatch the hair or anything like that so i'm pretty 
cool with this one. So um, just stay tuned, basically, I guess, for the final look. YouTube so this is the final look of the wash and style um, hair video and again this is using the Beverly Johnson Gala hair that you saw from the last uh, video that I've done the cut and style video where um, I cut with the bangs and then with the long sides and um, the long you know long bob and it's kind of actually when I, it's now that I've washed it a couple of times it's kind of actually blended more with my hair so that is a very very good thing so yeah this is it this is it i hope you guys like um again if you all if you have any questions or anything please feel free to email me questions or you know leave comments or whatever the case may be thanks for my new subscribers and of course thanks for watching bye